So I do guys, we're uh, out and about where I wanted to go into uh, do some bushcraft. Not really been able to source a good spot for that. So what we're gonna do is find somewhere to test out a new tent and uh, compare it to the uh, Hubba Hubba. Once we found somewhere reasonably flat to set this up. We're in a quite a dense woodlands, which is really cool. There's a little size difference between them. Not a great deal, but certainly a weight difference, but these pegs aren't lightweight so I'll change them over. So this comes with its own footprint which is really handy. The inner that arrived separately pegs uh, poles I should say outer I don't know where the pegs are that's the outer and pegs. So, I'm just going to put this up and come back to you. some wood to get some fire going and a coffee so let's have a look at this she's, uh, she's pretty good just take you around and here we have this one and then we've got this one can you actually tell the difference? It's very difficult, apart from the writing. But uh, let's take you inside. Massive room in here. So this, I'll get my uh, sleeping bag in and I'll come back and I've got a shelf to put up there as well. So as you can see, there's loads of room. Yes, this is, uh, a three quarter length, which is plenty for me because I'm so little. Got my little shelf up there. I'm now gonna get my rab sleeping bag out and let that loft for the next few hours. So let me just get this out. So here we have it. That much room in this tent. I've got my 50 litre rucksack there, loads of space, the Rab 700, that vestibule, that side is massive, here I can uh, just spin around, I mean I know I'm short but let me turn this camera on me, yeah I know I'm short but the headroom is massive, loads and loads of room in here just yeah incredible and obviously this is a two person so you would expect a bit more space but we all know that people say they're two people and you can barely get them in but in here looking at the space across here lots of room uh and clive's is identical you know, uh, i'm well impressed with it up to now We've got a lot of rain. Going to be coming through the night. So it would be a good test. The wind's quite high at, uh, on the exposed area. So we've tucked in to these trees. And got ourselves quite sheltered from the wind. But um, yeah, the rest is uh, going to be interesting. We've got some nice steak, mushrooms for tea. Happy days. Nice. This is 
present. Look at that steak, mushroom and onion baguette on the bush box. Happy days. So, that steak baguette went down really well. But it's damp and cold out there now, so I'm going to get in bed. Looking forward to getting into this rub and see how warm it really is. So I'm just going to strip off and I, uh, I won't put you through watching that. And uh, I'll come back when I'm in the bag. Well, that's it. I'm just leaving my t-shirt on. So it's only a cotton t-shirt. Down to my boxes, change my socks. There's a nice dry pair of socks. It's been damp and wet up here. Um, and it's quite cold out. Um, yeah, probably about four, five degrees, something like that. But um, and I've been in here less than less than a minute and a bit. So I can feel the heat permeating around. So uh, I'm quite pleased because at the end of the day, that's what matters, getting a good night's sleep. So uh, I shall come back to you all in the morning, unless anything happens in the night. Take care, see you in the morning. morning um, right. it's quite cold <laughs> and this sleeping bag fantastic absolutely boiling to the point I think I had more condensation on the outside which you get um, I thought there was a few drops of rain that came through, so I might have to seam seal the uh, all the seams, basically. But I've looked down here; there are a few little spots of wet. Can you see that? That could be condensation. Uh, <coughs> it's still raining now but um, on the whole I have to bake this all right like I'll do another test one day for uh, get some seam sealer and uh, coat everything which God knows when that will be like But yeah, I thought I'd wake up soaking. Uh, and with this being a down bag, that's concerning as you can imagine. But uh, it's not, not as wet as I thought. It was just like from cold. So, thumbs up. Work well done. Coffee time. Come in. Come on in. You coming in here? <laughs> you really think he's a massive room, isn't he? Good morning. 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 So that was 30 quid? Yeah, so it was 110 quid for mine. Yeah. Like, and this fucking does a good job. Isn't it? We've got a 100 quid tent, 
instead of a 400 quid tent. Cheapy, cheapy. And it's... I think my say, Primus is 115. No, it's gone up. Yeah. It used to be 100 quid when I bought it. I don't know what so, I guys, you do not have to spend copious amounts of money. Um, do you review? I'd buy a smaller version of this. So this is yeah, well, I, I went for big. the bigger one, but yeah. <laughs> Huge. It is huge, but I, I was thinking of the bags because we always do it or you know often do the boil in the bag stuff Because um, that keeps it cheaper than buying dehydrated stuff because that's expensive But yeah, I thought I was gonna be disappointed with this Rain coming in but everywhere's dry so I'm quietly chuffed Enjoying my coffee my has been coffee. <laughs> Using my silky as a spatula. The bread, but is the bread. It does everything. The bacon. Silky. <laughs> Never leave home without it. pleased actually overall with uh, with my tent so I'm heading back to the car now and uh, the Monga 2 from uh, Nature Hike is uh, a really good tent I probably will do a seam seal on it but I was pleasantly surprised uh, very spacious and uh, spot on so for my own health I needed to get out so uh, feel free to put your comments but we've got to do what's right for us and it was needed and I had to test these this gear out ready for winter if we get the go-ahead to get it up into the mountains as such I'm just on a on a hillside far away from anyone so uh, beautiful spot and uh, anyway all the very very best to everyone take care see you all on the next one